Hi, I'm Osem Mata, and I'm doing nanotechnology. What is nanotechnology? Nanotechnology is the manipulation of the atom to create new substances. In order to do this, the scientists would have to go down to the nanoscale. And the nanoscale is the, a meter, but divided into a billion small pieces. So the nanoscale is so small, you cannot see it without the use of a microscope. Even then, it has to be a special type of microscope. Now the origins of nanotechnology. Nanotechnology was used back then without the people even knowing it. An example of this would be the paint in old church windows. The artist would heat up metals and combine them with other materials to make various colors. When they did this, the metal would break up into the atoms, thus making it a form of nanotechnology. Now take gold for an example. They would melt down the gold and mix it with a different material to make pink. <laughs> now. Now technology was not discussed, or now technology was discussed uh, as an idea of Professor Richard Feynman brought up in a conference called There's Plenty of Room at the Bottom. There, Richard talked about the idea of manipulating atoms, although the name nanotechnology came a decade later from Professor Norio Taniguchi. Now the benefits of nanotechnology. Huge advancements in medicine, upgrades in technology seen today, sustainable energy, and materials can become lightweight, durable, and resist staining. Now this is the pill can. <laughs> this lights up and then something in here takes pictures. Now <clears throat> when the doctor gives it to their patients, the patients swallow the pill can and it takes pictures of their intestines. It takes two pictures every second so it looks like a little video. <laughs> now <clears throat> uh, an example of technology would be cameras. Back then cameras were pretty big, but now you can fit a camera virtually anywhere. You can fit it in your phone, your laptop, your know, TV. Um, <clears throat> an example of simple energy would be solar panels. Solar panels make use of nanotechnology by packing up everything together in order to get the energy from the sun. Now materials can also become lightweight, durable, and resist staining. Now an example of resisting staining would be the water resistant cans you see at Walmart, you can spray on your clothes and then um, water will never like hit your clothes just in case it's raining or like a raincoat. An example of becoming lightweight and durable would be body armor they use in the military. They use Kevlar which is some form of um, nanotechnology. Now cons of nanotechnology. Atomic weapons become more deadly and more easily attainable. And it's also very expensive to create as of today. Now, the whole world has spent like trillions of dollars on research for nanotechnology. So that's a lot of money just on nanotechnology. Now jobs will be lost due to nanobots doing the work. <clears throat> now nanobots have already taken some jobs for doctors. It's like the pill can. Some patients just swallow the pill and you know already it takes a picture for the essence. Doctors don't have to go in there and cut. <sighs> also with police they could just launch a drone and look for the suspect there, or like satellite. Now also inhaling nanoparticles can cause problems for your lungs. Now, the future of nanotechnology. The future of nanotechnology may not be that far away. Every day, something is invented with nanotechnology that may change the world forever. Whether that be making the material smaller, or enhancing it, or creating a nanobot that can cure cancer, such as cars that run on electricity. They can run on electricity and probably go for days in the future. We might never know, but all we do know is that nanotechnology will bring a lot of good changes in the future.